Hello YouTube, my name's Sean. Um, I thought I would make a little video uh, really just talking about my weight loss journey, how I managed to do it. If you've seen the thumbnail of this video, you'll see I went from uh, being quite overweight, actually around about, I'm a 5 foot 10 male. Um, roughly at that point I was 15 stone and 3 pounds. I think that equates to like 200 and... 15 pounds or something like that and now I'm 13 stones and 9 pounds about 13 stone 8 something in there between which I believe is like 190 something uh, pounds if you're American so I've dropped roughly about 25 pounds since uh, December it's now April and uh, I was on holiday that was in Turkey in that video you can see all the fat and cellulite uh, around like my my chest area and you can just see that I have a belly it's not a very nice look for uh, someone that's 22 years old never mind anybody else sorry if you can hear any noises it's quite busy and my phone keeps going this is the reason why I'm making this video because um, I shared this before and after picture on social media and I have had a lot of um, questions about it and stuff like that what my phone is really going crazy okay sorry about that so yeah, this is the reason I'm making this video. I'm getting a lot of questions about it and I thought I would really just um, show what I'm doing and what you can do to actually help lose weight as well. So first of all, let's just get this out of the way. I'm a vegan. I've been vegan for two years, but I was still overweight even as a vegan. Um, I still ate loads of junk food, was pretty lazy, didn't really have any, you know, exercise routine or anything like that and it really cascaded into me gaining all this weight and stuff like that. I gained all this weight because I let myself go, I got into a relationship, we got really comfortable, um, one of my parents died and stuff like that, Just that's a bit of background, I really just stopped caring about looking after myself as much, you know, which is something you should never do, you should always have a healthy lifestyle, so I've, enough talking, let me just go into the, the basics of how to lose weight, no bullshit approach. Um, so many people are going to try and sell you stuff, I mean, we live in a consumerism economy and stuff like that and it's just the way society is we believe that spending our money on something um, will will give us a result especially with supplements especially with these protein powders and whatnot just isolated protein stuff these are all things that you don't actually need they're only you can use some of them like fat burners are total crap they're just they just don't work unless they're like really hard drugs that are illegal now I just want to talk about the basic things right you can lose weight even if you're not a vegan, right? The reason I'm a vegan is because it makes me feel so healthy. I care about the environment and animals and stuff like that, but I'm not here to talk about that today. I'm just here to talk about weight loss. If you are a vegan and you watch my content, um, you already know that eating a, a vegan diet means that you can eat so much volume of food with very, very little calorie costs. What that means is if you eat a thousand calories coming from potatoes as versus a thousand calories coming from steak, The, the thing you w really want when you're trying to lose weight is a calorie deficit. What is a calorie deficit? So, first, you need to figure out how many calories you need in a day. For me, it's roughly um, 1,800 calories. That's how many calories my basal metabolic rate is. So, you can calculate your basal metabolic rate. There's calculators you can use on the internet. When you calculate this, it will give you a number. It'll ask you roughly um, how active you are and stuff like that, and it'll give you a, a, not a starting number, like a number to begin with, it is it changes as you uh, start to lose weight as well. So when you get your basal metabolic rate, you then add on how many calories you'll burn by say exercising or when you're at work or vice versa, just walking. Usually I'll do a lot of walking, uh, at least 10,000 steps a day. And then once you figure that out, roughly for me, Roughly, I need about 2,500 calories a day um, to maintain my body weight. So that means I don't gain weight and I don't lose weight. So I know I can eat 2,500 calories and be the same the same state. I won't gain weight and I won't lose weight. But a, a calorie deficit means that you eat lower than how many calories you need in a day. So if I need 2,500 calories and I lower that by 500 calories, I'm going to lose weight that day. And it's going to come from fat. 
because when you're in a deficit, your body switched to fat stores to essentially give you that energy. If you stay in this calorie deficit for long enough, you will actually lose so much weight. Um, it is a bit of a waiting game, yes, it can be a bit annoying. I didn't even feel like I was progressing until I looked at that picture from December. And then compared it to now, I'm a completely different person. And um, I feel unbelievable as well, I feel so much better. But you've got to be consistent, you've, you've really got to just put in the work and the nutrition and stuff like that, right? And I'll get, I'll get into that in just a moment, but you've got 2,500 calories, that's how many you need in a day. You're, you're wanting to go for a, a calorie deficit of about between 500 and 1,000. Essentially, if you can hold a 500 calorie deficit for a whole week, that equates to roughly one pound of fat that you will drop that week. And if you do 1,000 calories, that equates to two. The reason that is is because one pound of fat equates to roughly about 3,500 calories. So if you add that up over the week, um, five times seven is 3,500. So, well, 35, but you, you get the gist, 3,500 calories. So you can double that if you're doing 1,000 calories. This might be a little bit confusing, but you do have apps that you can track uh, your calories and stuff like that. You don't need to track them straight away. I didn't do it. Um, I just know that eating vegan um, if you're eating predominantly whole plant-based foods, it's very, very hard to overeat. I eat predominantly um, fruits and then I'll have maybe one cooked meal at the end of the day and I roughly eat about 2,000 calories. And I know that I'm gonna just um, get to a really, really lean level of um, body fat by doing this. Not only if you're vegan, you're gonna cut out all of the nasty byproducts that are in animal products and I'm not saying that just to be that this is this is what the science is saying now. Animal products products are not necessary to build muscle or lose fat or gain muscle. They're not they just aren't because there's there's people that um I watched before I was vegan and um, I seen their physiques, some of them were just incredible. So what kind of foods do you want to be eating and what kind of foods do you want to be avoiding? Nutrition is very important guys a calorie is not a calorie. You've got four macronutrients, but we'll only focus on three, which is protein, carbs, and fats. So your carbs and your proteins, they only have four calories per one gram, okay? So proteins and carbs are the same caloric density per one gram, but fats are actually nine calories per one gram. So they're actually more than double the caloric density than protein and carbs. You also have alcohol, which is seven calories per one gram, but if you're trying to lose weight, you shouldn't really be consuming alcohol because it's just empty calories. So predominantly what I would do is actually go for a higher carb uh, diet. So high carb, low protein, low fat. And um, that seems to be what the science is um, saying is best for optimal health. Um, you can try this yourself, I've tried it. It does definitely work. It does make you feel that much better. Um, you feel full of energy with all the carbs, but the carbs need to come from natural sources. This is the thing. People demonize carbs because a pizza is regarded as a carb, uh, a baked potato with tuna and mayonnaise and coleslaw on top of it is classed as carbs and they don't think about the animal proteins and everything else that they put on top of it, which actually adds so much more calories and nasties that you don't want. So. I'm not telling anybody to go vegan. You can actually, if you're getting into bodybuilding or want to lose weight, you should be predominantly eating plants anyway. And if you aren't vegan, very, very small or minute parts of um, animal products. And I would say, eat something lean. If, if you can't uh, give up the animal products, make sure the animal products are very, very low. If you're eating whole plant foods, right, what I mean by that is, We call that processing them, right? You don't want to do that. You want to eat them in their whole natural state. So if you get potatoes and carrots, steam them, um, bake them, do not fry them, um, 
Condiments as well is a huge thing. Try and use spices instead of condiments. Condiments can just lather on so many calories that you just wouldn't believe. Um, especially like really, really high sweet um, tomato sauce or barbecue sauce or anything, you know. You can get low calorie ones, just shop around. I do tend to use spices or uh, gravies are really good as well. Gravies are low in calories and you can get certain ones that are low in salt as well. So look out for those. Those are really good. Me, myself, personally, I do better on fruit, mostly fruit, and then uh, cooked food later on at night. Uh, the reason I recommend this is because you want really, really good digestion throughout, throughout the day. If your digestion sucks when you're going to weight lift or run, you're not going to get the full benefit of um, feeling good when you're actually running and stuff like that. So you want to be very light. Fruit is the best thing that you can eat in this, this earth. You're designed for it. This is why you have opposable thumbs. This is why you see in color to make sure it's right. We, our primates pretty much, we're frugivores, even our, our teeth states that. And you can look at this little graph here that shows that. Um, same with our physiology too. So you want to be eating predominantly plant-based right you don't need to if you don't want to if you can't that's okay right if you can maintain a calorie deficit for a long period of time you're going to lose weight it's as simple as that it's just a matter of giving yourself time for me it took four months and i was really consistent i mean i was doing cardio two two days a week were really uh, highly intense games of soccer or football depending on where you are in the world but we call it football americans call it soccer that's what i was doing twice a week plus um, cardio probably twice a week as well just walking but I was making sure that I was taking at least 10,000 steps a day just go a walk I mean if you walk for an hour you're gonna get that get out and about get out in nature try and walk places walk to work uh, make it into a game try and beat as the, this, the amount of steps you got yesterday you know and um, it's all about not being a couch potato right the longer you're on your feet, I'm not sitting down to make this video because it's better to be on my feet. We've got solid legs to be standing. You know, they're like tree trunks. You can stand for hours. If you look at a dog, they, they need to lay down because they're always in a constant state of being, uh, their legs are uh, poised and bent, so it hurts them. That's why they lay down a lot. Whereas we can stand for hours, nine hours a day. So it's really all about calories, eating the proper nutrition, um, you need the proper nutrients to rebuild the muscles, uh, the proper fats as well. So I'm going to say eat rice, corn, beans for protein, lentils for protein, loads of fruit, bananas, mangoes, papayas, anything you can get your hands on. Citrus is amazing as well, full of calcium, uh, green leafy vegetables. I make smoothies every day. Um, lots of fruit just make sure you're eating a shit ton of fruit because the fruit tastes good if you can get it ripe when fruit is ripe it nothing compares to it i don't care what anybody says if you get a nice 10 out of 10 piece of mango that is ripe you're going to want to eat that if, especially if it's in a hot climate it's summer over here in scotland right now so that's all i'm really craving and uh, i'll have some cooked food if it's really um cold outside but i've rambled on for long enough i managed to drop this weight by maintaining a calorie deficit, eating the proper amount um, of food, I'll probably eat two or three times a day, mostly from fruit. Um, I managed to maintain approximately about an 800 cal calorie deficit um, throughout most of the time, and it's about doing what you can sustain. Never ever compare yourself to anyone else because they don't matter, you're never gonna look like them, you're gonna look like you because you are you, you know? Focus on how you're gonna look and don't care about what anybody else says, you know? Because you're never gonna be that person. You can only be the best version of you and you can just show off what your genetic makeup has to offer. And you know what? More often than not, you'll be very satisfied with what you get because I was very self-conscious um, before I got into all this stuff, weightlifting and such. And finally, the last thing is do resistance training, build muscle. If you lack the muscle and you're fat, you're already at a really good advantage. The minute you start stimulating your muscles, um, you want your muscles to be semi-sore. Every time you, you work out, your next set should be uncomfortable. Uncomfortable sets and reps means that you are grown. You shouldn't be looking forward to your next set or your next couple of reps, you know. Um, to, towards the end of your sets 
that's a really good rule of thumb. Progression comes when you're at your most vulnerable state and it comes when you're um, uncomfortable and trying and struggling. Okay, that's when you force your body to adapt. That's what you need to do to become stronger. And um, that's pretty much it. Maintain a good calorie deficit. Do not eat junk food. Do it for long enough. You get the results. You get a good physique. And train with people, go to the gym, try and get a couple of partners. If you don't get a personal trainer, they will teach you. That's pretty much everything. So thank you for watching, guys. If you like this video, give me a little like or a subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll be making a lot more videos about weight loss and stuff in the next coming weeks. So thanks for watching. Have a nice day. This has been Sean. Bye.